want to talk to you briefly about maintaining peace of mind through life's difficulties. Think about that. The Bible says in Philippians, the fourth chapter, around the seventh verse, the peace of God passes all of your understanding. Think about that. It goes beyond what we can comprehend, what we're thinking, the peace of God. Let's talk about what is peace. Peace is stillness. Peace, having that peace of mind that life difficulties are not weighing you down. Think about that. You know, I, I began to think about Jesus. You know, that's that's our example and who we're supposed to live our lives according to is uh, Jesus' examples. Jesus was in the midst of a boat and his disciples uh, were there. And Jesus was in the boat asleep, and there arose a storm in the midst of the sea. Here Jesus is asleep, and they're in the midst of a storm. Do you think Jesus was tormented? The disciples was. They, had a, they saw this storm with their natural eyes. But Jesus was sleeping. And that's human nature. For when, when we see something that's going to harm us or cause, cause us to have difficulty, we stress in our mind. We stress, we weary. But if you'll stay tuned, I've got keys that will radically transform your way of thinking. It'll bring, it'll bring the peace of God in your life. I know... As I journey this Christian life 20 plus years, I learned a few things. I let the peace of God rule and reign in my life. You would say, well, well, how do you do that? I learned it through trials and tribulations. Has God allowed the word to be worked in my life? I remember 20 plus years ago, when, when I was married and we had um, moved into this, this duplex and um, things were very tight. I hadn't started my business at that time, so we were kind of new in the area. We were filling the way. And, but I had such a trust in God that... He was going to supply our need. When we applied for the duplex and we got approved, I didn't have money to even uh, go to the storage and get, my, get our furniture. We didn't have anything. And, and so when, when the lady approved us, I didn't even have money to even come up with a deposit. And so God worked it out. So a big contractor that I worked by the hour for, he just gave me the money. Okay? So uh, we got into the uh, duplex and uh, I couldn't probably find any work. And so I was struggling again. And so as, as we began to journey, we, was, we were getting evicted because I couldn't pay the bills. And, but I knew that God had sent us to that duplex because He provided, but I was tormented in my mind. I was, I was so, because I had a family, I had kids, all the pressure was on me as the leader of my household. And I began to cry out to God, began to pray, and we began to talk to God. 
My mind was troubled. It's nothing like when a man can't provide for his family. It's, it's that stress, the weary that was on my mind. You know, weary starts in the mind. And then it gets so painful, it starts aching our heart. That's why God says in Philippians 4 and 7, the peace of God that passes all of your understanding, all of your situation. He keeps our mind and our heart stayed upon Him. Philippians 4 and 7 says, and we began to talk to God and believe for God. Me and my wife was in agreement. God was going to work it out. God spoke a word that I've got it worked out. We believed it. And what a peace of mind that it brought to us. God worked it out and we stayed in that duplex about 10 years and after that God supplied us every month we was able then I started my business and things started picking up it's because I allow the Spirit of God to help me that's what he wants to do for you he wants to come into your situation and he wants to begin to get, restore the peace of mind that passes all understanding what are you facing what are you facing that's got your mind and your heart aching? It's got you bogged down. And you are a servant of God. You are a child of God. God wants to multiply the peace. But you're going to have to let Him. You're going to have to believe the Word. I had to believe the Word. That God was, He says in Philippians 4.19, I'll supply your needs according to my riches and glory. He said that. He wants to take care of that. You're going to have to thrust yourself into the, into the arms of God. Come boldly into the throne of grace. You're going to obtain mercy and grace if you'll put yourself in that situation. I, me and my wife had to allow ourselves to be... We were being tested. And we passed that test by going to God and asking Him to help us. And He restored that peace of mind. That peace that passes all understanding. And I've been walking in that peace for years. It doesn't matter what's raging around about you. You can have peace. Jesus had peace in the midst of that storm that He was in. He was sleeping. That's how much peace He had. It was passing. It, it passes your understanding. Jesus said that He's no respect to your person. Jesus had that same peace. Jesus is on the inside of you. He wants to give you that peace. But you're going to have to ask Him. You said, man, the things that you're facing is just humongous. It doesn't matter how big your trial or your difficulty or your turmoil is. It doesn't matter. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. One of the fruits of the Spirit is peace. That's a fruit. When you're in the kingdom that we possess those fruits, we just got to believe it. You got to start believing. You just need to start this new year out by believing the promises of God. You just believe. In Philippians 4 and 7, the peace of God reigns on the inside of you. I spoke that word for years. I'm walking in peace. I'm walking in joy. God supplying my needs. It's a need that you have peace that passes all understanding. I'm going to pray and we're going to rebuke that storm that's raging round about you and we're going to believe the promise of God. The peace of God to come and invade that situation like you've never known before. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that storm, that thing that's festering, that, that thing that's causing your children that's in front of that monitor to be 
torment it in her mind. I rebuke the spirit of fear. I rebuke that thing that's got you bound. And I loose. I loose the peace of God. There it is. There it is. Peace of God is raining on you. Just receive it. Just believe and receive. And I want to thank you for stopping in on this broadcast. I ask you to subscribe to these videos. Um, I would highly appreciate it.